Welcome, welcome, my fellow mobile gamers of YouTube to my mobile gaming quest, where today we're gonna check out a brand new awesome mobile game called Kick Flight. And honestly, this might just be the most ambitious and most badass mobile game I have ever played. I mean, we're freaking talking in air PvP combat. It's essentially what a Dragon Ball game on mobile should be like if the owners of the Dragon Ball IP had any idea how to make mobile games. So what is this genre? Well, I guess it's easiest described by jumping straight into combat. So we're gonna do that right now and hopefully you guys will get the idea. We'll then go back to the menu afterwards to talk about the progression system. We'll talk about how we unlock new characters and abilities and all that good stuff. So we're being teamed up here with seven other players for a four versus four match where we fly around a map trying to collect as many orbs as possible. Then we have to deliver those orbs to the base. And then we have to take out enemies, of course, using in-air attacks if we think that those enemies either get too close to us or if we see an enemy with lots of those orbs, we have to try to take out that enemy before the enemy gets to the enemy base. That was a lot of enemies in one sentence. Now, the team with the most points at the end of the match will win. And there's also a few other game modes, but they unlock later on together with the ranked game modes. This game mode is called Scramble. This is, I believe, our team. Yes, there we are. Nimble over there on the left side. And these are the opponents that we'll be fighting against. So are you guys ready? Let's see. We are ready. Yes, there we go. We are off to a good start trying to collect some orbs here. We control using a joystick in the bottom of the screen and then we simply have to fly around. Now we can tap the screen to do a quick burst of speed forward and now we've collected three orbs already. So now what we can do is we can try to get to our base, which I believe is over there and we're getting attacked now as well by an opponent, but he's not getting to take us out before we've delivered these orbs. There we go. We're delivering Ops to our base and we now have 17 points with the opponent at 13 points at the moment. Let's lock on that guy there and let's see if we can take him out. We didn't quite do that well enough. Let's lock again and let's start dealing some serious damage to this guy. Now this might seem a bit chaotic and uh, frankly it actually is but we did take him out and hopefully you guys were able to notice somewhat what was going on. Let's fly up as high as we can here and get a good overview. We still have to find some more orbs. We also have to heal up a bit so let me do that right now. Here we go. That is one of our abilities that allows us to heal. You guys can see all of our abilities in the bottom of the screen. Now, obviously, the controls in a game like this have to be simply amazing. And fortunately, they are really well made here in Kick Flight. They do take a bit of time to get used to, though. But don't be too concerned about that. I mean, you will eventually get it. And it is all very well calibrated. At least that has been my experience with the game so far. Now, the opponents have 23 points at the moment, and we only have 20. Now they're actually up to 24. Now we are up to, how many now? 21 now, and the opponent's up to 23, so I think we have to do a better job at taking out the opponents now, because there are really not that many orbs left, and if we want to have any chance of winning, we have to we have to start doing something now. So let's lock on this character here, and let's start using some of our abilities on him. Now, he was hiding behind the wall there, which was fortunate for him, but we did take him out, and let's see, are there any more orbs around the map? You guys can see an overview of the map in the top of the screen and it looks like yes here we go there are two orbs here actually let me just collect both of them if i can no one of them was taken by that guy i think let's take the orbs over here at the enemy base now we are in enemy territory here so we have to be a bit careful we have 21 points at the moment and we're getting taken out by an opponent who is trying to make sure of course that we don't get to deliver these three orbs here to our base but i think we'll have a good chance as long as we can keep bursting forward real quick here. <laughs> We're very close, very close to our base, and we now have 25 points on our team, and the opponent only has 18 points. So let's deliver these up here, getting us up to 25 points with only 15 seconds left on the clock. Now, the controls in this game allow us to, as I showed already, burst forward real quick, but we can also flick to either side to do a barrel roll, which is freaking amazing, and then we can swipe down to pause completely, and we can swipe up to do a 180 turnaround, which I didn't quite get to do there before the match was over. But we actually won a match here, I think, right? We got... Oh, it was a draw? Oh, man. Okay, 23 points for each team, I guess. We could have actually won if I had been a bit more uh, careful about collecting enough orbs in due time. But this is good enough, though. This did earn us a bit of XP. Not as much as we would have gotten if we won the match, obviously. But we'll get back into another match after I've shown you guys the progression system. And then hopefully we will win that next match. Now, I don't know how well it came across in the fight just before, but it feels incredible. 
incredible to play this game. There's just something about being able to fly around the map, taking out opponents in air that feels insanely rewarding and unlike anything I've ever played on mobile, honestly. Now, since we're back in town, we can unlock or change the abilities that we use in a match and we have to do that by changing out our discs or leveling up these discs. And these can be leveled up to grow stronger when we have more of the same type of disc and we get more of these discs from chests and actually we have a chest that we can open right now and we get these chests, of course, from winning matches. So we didn't get one before because we were in a draw, but this was a new disc, the Wind Weasel. So we can go check out what that one does by finding it over here. There it is. This deals medium damage to surrounding circular area and we can even see how it looks like by playing this little video up here. That's pretty cool. So this deals 130 in damage and it's going to add 1600 in HP to our character. We do already have a pretty neat setup of discs up here though. This one is a super rare one and I'm going to level that one up because we actually had enough of it so that we could level it up. So now it went from 211 to 236 in damage. We can also choose to level up this fairy lizard here, which deals small damage to surrounding circular area and knocks them upwards. So knocks opponents upwards. This one deals 169 in damage. Is that more than... It is more than the wind weasel. So let's keep this one up here because it kind of works in somewhat the same way, except for the fact that it also does knock up enemies, which is of course also beneficial because then you know they're confused for bits and we can deal some more damage to them. So this is our setup of discs, but there are many, many discs that we can unlock and we can level them up and we can even have different sets ready here. Uh, we can have up to five sets ready at a time so you can quickly switch between them. We can also unlock lots of different kickers which are the characters we play as and they all have different attributes you can see for example this one here Roriha that we play as versus Subaim I guess that's how you pronounce the main character or the starting character of this game so Subaim is a bit faster this girl here is a bit slower but she does deal a bit more damage and she has the same amount of HP so right now my favorite character is Roriha but uh, we're gonna go unlock some more characters very soon I just first wanted to show you guys that there's really a lot to unpack and dive into about these kickers, which is really awesome, of course. It means that each play vastly different and they require unique different strategies to be utilized to perfection. So, for example, Ruriha here has a special skill. Well, they all have a special skill. They have a special kicker skill. They have an ability and they have certain disc compabilities. For example, quick with heal discs. So that's great. But slow with spherical area of effect attack discs. So that stuff is good to know if you really want to optimize your disc use, which of course you definitely want, especially if you get into the more competitive gameplay of this game. Now let's go unlock a new kicker, which we can do over here in the shop, and we've got some different scout tickets. And now this might look like a gacha system, but it's actually more like loot boxes, the way we see them in, for example, Overwatch, because unlike in a gacha system, there aren't hundreds of heroes to unlock, and we're also guaranteed, by the way, to always only get a kicker that we don't have already. So this is actually a very fair system, I feel like, and since each kicker is different, but not necessarily better than the other kickers. It also means that we can easily compete as a free player, even if we don't yet have all of the kickers. But of course, though, we're going to attempt to get as many of them as possible. And let's see what was it we got here. We got all bird. That's kind of cool. Now, at this point, we have two more tickets left, which means that we'll be able to get up to six out of 12 characters. And this is only on day two of me playing the game. So this is really awesome. I'm also really liking the fact that we don't have an energy system here in Kick Flight because I love the combat system and I would hate to see that we have to wait to continue playing the game. Now let's spend the last scout ticket here on unlocking one last kicker and let's try one of them out in the next match. So let's see what we're gonna get here. We got... Oh, that animation looks cool. That is Pitu. I don't know how to pronounce these names, guys, so <laughs> sorry about that. Now, the special scout down here, just in case you guys were wondering, is actually just a way to get uh, cosmetics for our scouts. So this is partly how the game monetizes, but uh, we'll get back to talking more about the monetization in just a bit. Now, if you look here, you can see that we unlocked the ranked match at S rank. So we have to get to S rank, and right now we're still C plus rank, so there's quite a bit of time until we do that. But until then, we can play the normal game mode, and we can play custom matches versus friends, which I always love to see. I like to be able to play with my friends in some, shall we say, less competitive matches. We're just having fun. You're just trying out new characters. Oh, wait a sec. We forgot to change the kicker. I wanted to show you guys uh, one of the new kickers that we got. So let's try out a different one this time. Let's try out... Let's see here, what do we have? Oh, this one deals a lot of damage. It's very slow though and doesn't have a lot of HP, so we have to be very careful if we use this one. So, that's 
that's probably gonna be interesting. Let's just try that one out in a C plus rank battle now. And, you know, we might end up dying a whole lot more, but we should also be able to really deal a serious amount of damage to the enemies. Now, after we're done with this match here, I figured we're gonna go spend some of this game's premium currency, which we earned for free, by the way, on getting a lot of new capsules and just try to level them up and see, you know, how lucky we can be. And then, of course, we'll also talk about how the game monetizes. So for now, let's just see if we can actually win another match here. And I know I talked a lot about the combat system and how much I love it, but I also really like the art style and the animation in kick flights in case I haven't mentioned that yet it just feels very 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 smooth to play this game and uh, yeah I'm really liking it and I think a lot of you guys will actually find that the combat system is unlike anything you've tried on mobile before now we are playing an offensive character here but it just turned out that we've already collected six orbs so I want to just deliver them right here right now before we start with the wait I have to wait what's like why can't I deliver these oh I wasn't standing exactly in the circle, it seems. It's actually a bit tricky to get into the circle with this character because he isn't moving very fast. Okay, there we go. We're delivering the orbs now, and our team is actually at a loss right now. I mean, the opponents have 22 points, and we only have 19 points. So let's get into some actual combat. Let's see if we can find some opponents. We can have a look at the map, of course, to uh, to help us a bit. And there's an opponent over there. Let's lock on this person here, and let's start dealing some damage with our abilities and our normal attack. And oh my, look at the damage we're dealing here, guys. Oh wait, okay, she already healed up fully, so we have to continuously follow her, but our rockets deal a lot of damage though, and I think, was that a death? I think that was a death, I think we took out, and we, <laughs> okay, we died as well, didn't we? Yeah, okay, we have to respawn in three seconds from now. Oh man, this guy really does not have a lot of HP, uh, as we kind of knew, of course, <laughs> going into this. Let's see, where are they hiding? Where are they hiding? I hope that our team will be able to score enough points while we're just trying to take out, yes, there we go, trying to take out the opponents instead. You know, uh, maybe we have to collect some orbs to help out our team. Is there any way that we can get through this wall here? I wonder if we can, maybe we have to attempt to fly over it. Can we do that? Nope, there is a ceiling here at the top. Now, I think what would make this game even cooler is some new map designs. Uh, possibly something where we can fly up even higher into the air because that part of this game is freaking amazing. It looks like there's an opponent behind us somewhere, uh, I think, right? Let's see, let's see if we can turn around. Yes, there we go, we can lock on this opponent. Now she or he is dealing a lot of damage to us. We already died here again. Man, that is one strong character. I definitely want to unlock that one. It looks like these guys are dealing a lot of damage to us in general, by the way, and we only have 19 points and the opponents have 27 points, so we are definitely at a loss here, you know? This is not a good start on uh, on this match, but there's still 25 seconds left though, so everything might still be able to change, although, to be honest with you guys, oh, this is the one that took us out before. Let's release the Hawk here and deal a lot of damage with our rocket as well. Come on, we can do this. Let's heal up real quick. She is so low on HP though. Just one more hit, I think, and we will have taken her out. Maybe I actually forgot to say this before, but we deal damage with our normal weapon automatically, and then we just have to use the abilities and, of course, fly around to avoid enemies and also to collect orbs uh, and so on, but the normal attack is used automatically. Now, we lost this match here, unfortunately, so this was a tie and then a loss for the Nimble Thor army. But that's okay though, we still earned some XP and we're very close now to leveling up to level three. So let's talk about the monetization system because this game has a monthly subscription for only three US dollars, which I found to be really cheap by the way. It's much, much cheaper than most games, subscription services or battle passes, which we do see in lots of games these days. But for three US dollars, you're gonna get some extra convenience like having room for more capsules, which are the loot boxes that we get from winning matches. And we also get a permanent double up on the currency we use to level up our discs, which which we also earn from these loot boxes. And this is definitely the in-app purchase you wanna buy if you really get into the game. And at three US dollars, I think most people should be able to afford that. And I'm actually really liking this idea of a monetization instead of having a gacha system, for example, or having lots of in-app purchases where we can spend uh, premium currency. Now we can, of course, spend premium currency on getting discs. That is true. Uh, but with this subscription, you don't really need anything else to be able to compete, it seems. So in conclusion, Kick Flight might just have the most impressive combat I've ever seen uh, pulled off in a mobile game. And I'm frankly rather hyped for this game. And the fact that demonetization is super fair only makes this even better. Going into the game, I thought that demonetization would be just a complete mess, but I'm actually very happy to report that it's not. And I think that this might quickly grow to become one of my all time favorite action fighting games on mobile. Let me know what you guys think about Kickflight though. Are there things that I didn't address in this video that I should have talked about? Or do you like the game or do you dislike the game? Let's discuss all of that good stuff in the comments down below this video. And now then, we will move on to the mobile gaming news 
of the day, which is that Angry Birds developer Rovio just recently soft launched a brand new game in their franchise called Angry Birds Tennis. And yes, it's literally a tennis game with the Angry Birds characters, only this time we won't be flicking the birds themselves across the screen, but rather the tennis balls that they have to hit. The game is only available in North America at the moment, but there's a good chance that it will of course see a global launch this year already, assuming that the game performs well enough of course. I will be sure to check it out once it releases, so stay tuned for that. But for now, we will end off the video here, so thank you very much for watching, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around. Thank you.